Um, they have nice images, yeah, uh, and the search field is, is really, really kick-ass huge. I, if you, if, yeah, it's, it's really huge. You, you, you can't miss it. So let's, let's uh, look for Portal 2, for example. Uh, Portal 2. Enter. And I, I do like the layout of this. Um, and you can kind of s scroll sideways through the layout of, of your search results. Which I think is nice. It's, uh, it's structured, I think. Uh, you go images. And uh, it will... It, I don't know if you know this um, uh, plugin for Firefox called Cool Iris. Um, the 3D wall. It's kind of like that, only it's, three, it's uh, 2D. Yeah, so you, it's like an infinite scrolling wall of, of images. Yeah, uh, it's, it's just, it's not 3D, it's just 2D. Yeah. Uh, now, another thing to, to remember, and this is very important, now listen to me very, very carefully because this is important to know. Uh, if you want to close a full screen application, um, there's, one way to, there's only one way to do it. Okay, uh, I only learned about this about two weeks ago, um, and uh, Fluffy is on the couch here with me and he wants attention. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you like that, huh? Uh, the way to close the full screen application is, and this is, this is really important, so what you have to do is you take the mouse cursor and you go to the top of the, of the screen, can you see that? No, not quite, but um, at the top of the screen the cursor will change into a hand, okay? And then you click and hold, okay? And you drag down. Now, this is what happens. And you keep dragging down, you keep dragging down, you keep dragging down, even though nothing happens. You keep dragging down, and that happens. See? Just boom. And then you go to the bottom of the screen and you let go. And that's the way how to close the application. Right. If that's intuitive or not, that's not my face to say. I'm just telling you, how to do it. Okay. Um, mail is uh, hopefully finished. No, it's not. Okay. But uh, the layout is um, the, uh, on the far left you have your um, folders, um, then you have your um, uh, uh, the actual mails, and the you know, right half of the screen is the content of the mail. Yeah. That's really it. There's not much else to it. However, um, what I think I like, and I hope I can demonstrate that to you right now, is um, the docking of an application. Yeah, I don't, at work it doesn't, uh, like in, in my work, in my office PC it doesn't work, and I don't know why. Um, maybe because I have a 4x3 uh, screen, yeah, not 16x9. Um, so you will have to kind of go to the left, I think, uh, to the top left corner, and see, you have to slightly drag it out. And it will open up a, uh, a column on, on your screen and you just dock it like this, right? See? And now you have two applications running and um, you can make this uh, bigger or smaller in any way you like. See, you, ca you get more space, less space. Uh, or if you kind of want to uh, put your desktop here, you can do that too. Uh, maybe kind of, you know, do this. You have your weather application on your right. And now you have your limited desktop, which I think can be a very neat feature for things like news feeds. Yeah, if you if you're a person that lives in email, that's re that's really cool. Or if you're a person that um, lives in social networks, yeah, Facebook, Twitter, um, and whatnot, uh, Pinterest, um, then uh, this feature will definitely be of use to you, uh, n without a doubt. Uh, same thing here if you want to close the application and uh, that's your desktop uh, restored to full size. You know, um, and that's really it. There's not much else to show you. Uh, I think you get the idea. Uh, another uh, one more thing I want to show you is that from from the screen, um, you can you can actually look right before things. Yep. So for example, uh, you want to you want to change uh, some settings, say your lock screen or whatever. Uh, you type lock, for example, lock. Oops. No, that's not what I wanted to uh, lock. Okay. Uh, in apps. It will not give you a result, but you see on the right side it gives you categories of uh, the search results, and uh, in this case you go uh, settings, yeah, and uh, there it gives you suggestions within settings uh, that are relevant to the query you put in, yeah. So uh, in this case lock screen, 
and uh, you click on that and it will open a, a settings uh, su super big settings uh, screen and um, that's uh, how you get there or how you uh, can look for things which also include the that search includes uh, I think things or uh, uh, everything on your computer uh, see files here uh, it, it will look for files as well I obviously I don't have any files but yeah um, so yeah that's an initial uh, kind of uh, let's go back here that's an initial uh, view at Windows 8 and uh, I, I think on the desktop it's a bit um, dubious yeah, uh, I think it will it will take a lot of time, if at all, for people to get used to. Um, I don't think the whole tile thing will catch on uh, to the desktop. I want to show you maps real quick, which is which is nice. Um, but I think um, no, I don't want to show that to you in a video. Um, but I do believe that. Um, on the t on, on tablets is it's actually going to be quite quite useful so uh, I don't uh, I don't have the driver right now but uh, this touchpad is capable of multi multi touch gestures um, so as you can see I think the quality compared to Google Maps is is uh, is, is nice actually yeah um, now another thing that you may want to know is that I mean it looks nice but that's really it for maps right now another thing that you might want to know is that if you have applications installed yeah um, you can right click on the tile and it will say a uh, pin to pin to uh, the taskbar hopefully here yeah see unpin from taskbar if I do this um, and I go back to my desktop see it's, it's uh, you probably can't see that no but it, uh, yeah it's gone uh, but if you go back and you go here, right click, pin to taskbar, uh, that will pin an application into your desktop uh, taskbar as, as such. Yeah. Um, well, that wine gum went down the wrong way. Yeah. But that's, uh, that's it for the moment. I don't have anything else to show you. Uh, that's an initial view of Windows 8 in case you were wondering how that looks like. And uh, that's it. And I'll talk to you guys later, alright? See you around.